Hey, what's going on everybody? David here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Justice League on 4K. Now, this movie just got dropped off on my doorstep, so of course I had to do a video for it. Um, as you can see here, this is the 4K Ultra HD version. It does have 4K Ultra HD, Blu-ray, and digital copy. As you can see here, nice artwork on the cover. I love it. I actually really do love the artwork. Looks really cool. He's here. Aquaman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, Flash, and Cyborg. Really nice. Does say includes bonus scenes not seen in theater. And then it does hype up the movies anywhere uh, deal there. All right. Let's take a look at the back here. If you guys don't know what it's about. Now this is pretty much going to hopefully be a, a, a pretty quick unboxing anyway. All right. And there goes the special features as well. You see there. Okay, so the movie itself. I know uh, <laughs> a lot of people didn't like this movie. Um, and I, I'm, I kind of sit somewhere in the middle, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, it's not a bad movie, but it's not a great one either. And I'll tell you why. Um, I love Joss Whedon. I really do. I'm a huge Joss Whedon fan. Um, but after he took over uh, Zack Snyder's you know, directorial duties... Uh, in the movie, I feel like it kind of muddied the waters of the story. Uh, I thought the story was fine, you know, but having, you know, two different directors, uh, again, two different directors, I'll say that different, um, the tone was just, it just felt like it was up and down, hills and valleys, the tone. Um, for the most part, I liked the characters. Uh, Wonder Woman didn't necessarily feel like Wonder Woman you know, from the Patty Jenkins uh, movie, uh, she felt a little off for some reason. Um, Superman was fine. I felt like I wish he would have been in there more. I will say that. Um, Aquaman seemed fine. Uh, he was really fun, you know, to watch on screen, Aquaman. Uh, Flash was really good. I, I love the humor. Um, not a fan of his running. I will say it was like this kind of, no, I don't know. Just keep it straight, man. Just run, run in a straight line. You're fine. <laughs> cyborg was good i i did think his cyborgs uh you know his his costume i guess you could say um was just a little too cg for me um i wish maybe they would have uh built a suit onto him kind of like the way they did with the flash but maybe cg certain aspects of it i think that would have probably worked a lot better um batman like i said batman was fine too i thought uh, he was fine he it was a little, a little too much humor, I guess, in, in Batman's uh, personality, per se. Um, I think they, they just tried to, to, to make the tone a lot lighter. And in a way, um, they need to kind of keep it on the darker side of things, I guess you could say. Uh, maybe not entirely dark, but on the darker side. But anyway, for the most part, I did have fun watching it. I actually saw it like three times, though, in the theaters, so... That kind of tells you, uh, I did enjoy it to a certain extent. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and unbox this and check out the inside here. Where's my opener? And I don't know if any of you guys agree with me. I know, there, there's going to be a, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, positive and negatives down in the comments. I know there is. Um, but just, just an FYI, a, a jump ahead uh, for you guys. I like superhero movies no matter what. So... I, I'm neither uh, a Marvel guy or a DC guy, even though I do kind of tend tend to lean towards a Marvel even more. Uh, but I love superhero movies all around. Uh, it does come with digital copy. Um, and okay, so pretty uh, pretty cool disc card here. I like this the the JL logo, the Justice League logo here on the Blu-ray, and then some pretty pretty nice uh, disc card over here for the 4K. Let's take a closer look at that. Looks like it's Wonder Woman's shield, if I'm not mistaken. Really nice. I like that. That's cool. There's not a lot of color. Uh, no color need, is needed, really, for for uh, for Justice League, I think. Uh, really cool. No, inter no interior artwork, which is to be expected. And then here goes the front, back, and spine for Justice League. This is on 4K Ultra HD, and it is available uh, March 13th. From Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. Now, I will say, um, I want to go more in depth about like the special features, the bonus uh, scenes that are in there. Um, 
probably I'll probably do that during the Blu-ray Buyer's Guide, which is going to be coming up. You know, so be on the lookout for that as well. Just give me all the heads up. Um, and um, yeah, and then I think there I'll probably do a giveaway. You know, a digital copy giveaway on that video as well. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys so much for checking out this quick unboxing. It's very quick, I know. Um, and I could probably talk more in depth uh, about this movie, but I think I'll save a little bit for the Blu-ray Buyer's Guide on Tuesday. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. If you dug it or found it informative in any way, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well because I will be coming back with more videos as always. Uh, like I said, the Blu-ray Buyer's Guide. And then I do have a uh, Blu-ray update video that I've been meaning to do. I'm so behind on it. The stack is growing and growing and growing. So be on the lookout for that as well. And with all that being said, we will catch you next time.